this is th this could be my revolution era like moment and this is not going to happen now it's bright and i'm distracted i had adhd as a child this is going to get rough <laughs> so um let's start with the story of a lovely young ultrasound tech and a man with a uh, damaged testicle <laughs> That man was me. <laughs> that testicle was damaged. And her name was Tiggy. Now, poor Tiggy uh, came into the OR that day probably thinking this was going to be another in her fantastic run of pregnancy ultrasounds. Maybe some organ material. Things are going to go great. One more thing to chalk up on the board. Now, what she didn't know is that a 23-year-old Irish jackass accidentally hit himself in the nut with a crowbar. Mm. And as she was walking into the room and reading my chart, you could tell the moment dawned on her. She's like, hello, my name is Tiggy. And I was like, hi, Tiggy. She's like, and uh, I want to let you know, because I guess it's required now that they start telling you about their history. I don't need your history. I don't need the bibliography. I, I don't plan on reading your report. Um... I want to know why my right testicle is the size of an apple <laughs> and what you can do to help me. But uh, if, if I can go back a little bit in this story, we're going to quit in Tarantino this shit for a minute. Uh, what happened to start this was the initial injury, and that was uh, I was standing over a mold at work and occasionally, I'm not going to get into the technical details. Anyway, I needed to slam a crowbar down to the center of the mold and was pushing it forward slid out from underneath my palm and hit. And now I've never fought Bruce Lee, but I'm pretty sure if he snake styled me in the dong, that's about how that would feel. <laughs> the noise going down was something close to <laughs> As my boss walked up and he goes, you okay, what happened? I was like, <laughs> It's like, are you going to be okay? I'm like, I need a minute. Maybe a Bible. <laughs> I need to pray. Anyway, um, got up here. Uh, and uh, what I wanted to do is actually leave it up to you guys for a minute here. Um, I am more than happy to do some new shit. And I'm not going to say it's going to go well. Or I can do some shit I've done before that I know you think is funny. Except for that table, who hasn't seen me before. Do the funny stuff? Thank you for having a voice. And for expressing your opinion. Do you live an awkward life? I hit myself in the testicle with a crowbar. I'm pretty sure I do. Now, nothing beats the level of awkwardness as uh, tossing a condom into your mother's cereal bowl that oh. as you're reaching for your cell phone. Because on the one token, she's like, well, at least he's using protection. On the other hand, she's like, Magnum, really? You're Irish. This is kind of overshooting your boundary. <laughs> I'm like, mother, not now. CBS Sunday morning is on. We're supposed to watch this as a family. Anyway, um, I get myself in a lot of awkward BS. Like, uh, recently, I, uh, I was actually at a bar and uh, sat down with my buddy and uh, there was an open seat to the left of him and an open seat to the right of me and there's two young guys standing behind us this evening nice enough I'm thinking what's the polite thing to do we move the fuck over right so I said gentlemen would you like to sit down sure great sits down and uh, minutes go by I'm a social introvert and kind of obsessed with getting to know people to a level of where I might be outside of your house later this evening because you're handsome. You don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Regardless. Um, I swear to God, I will kill them for that. I don't know what's going on. It's getting quiet. Regardless. All right, so these guys sit down next to me. Things are going well. And uh, I'm like, so what do you guys do? And you're like, oh, you're a construction. I was like, cool. I'm like, I'm, I'm actually a comedian. And... Judging by the wonderful pause and silence tonight, not a very good one. <laughs> See, that got a laugh. 
<laughs> that's self-deprecation, and that's always funny. Um, so it sits down to the uh, right of me, and I'm like, cool. I'm like, what do you, uh, you like, comedian, huh? I'm like, yeah, like Bob Saget? Like, oh. Like Danny Tanner? Are we going... Are we going 90s sitcom on this? And he just laughed. He's like, okay. And the guy next to him goes, yeah, but he's a Jew. And I stopped and I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I, I like to think of myself as a comedian. I'm like, I'm going to help this guy out. I know it's a bad joke. All right. And I was like, yeah, damn the Jews. And then the guy slowly pulls off his jacket and the shirt says, the original boys in the hood. And on the shirt, is members of the Ku Klux Klan and a burning cross. Now, I oh, this isn't a joke for you. This is life. This is your life. And I am so very sorry. God, it's silent up here. What can I do to make you guys more comfortable? You are staring a hole in my head. I apologize. Is there something you'd like to hear? I can make this better for you. I'm a people pleaser. <laughs>